In the words of West Coast legend Warren G, I want it all. Money, fast cars, diamond rings, gold chains, and champagne. Shit, every damn thing. I want it all. Houses, expenses, my own business, a truck, and a couple of bins. I want it all. Brand new socks and draw. And I'm balling every time I stop and talk to y'all. I want it all, 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 all. I want it all, 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 all. I want it all. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. I want it all, and I'm back with some more boxing. So make sure you guys smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. I'm working out hard. 2017, a lot going on. I posted this graphic last night. People say that boxing is dead. Shut the fuck up. Do you see this collage I made? Really? You got David Hay punching a bell in, Tony Bellew, bell in, or whatever he calls him. You got Joshua Klitschko. Frampton Santa Cruz, part two, fight of the year contender. Mikey Garcia going for a WBC title. You got the best middleweights, number one. Number two, you have I was born ready and fantastico. Then you got, hey, Philly, you guys want me to fuck this guy up? Make some noise. And you better not duck me, Thun. Garcia Thurman. 1,100 likes. Wow. So. Let's talk about it. You guys seen the title? You clicked on the video. This is funny as shit. I don't, I, I post what I want, but watch this. <laughs> Why'd the cop tase the fuck out of him? He did like Dave Chappelle. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Let me run that back. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. May 6th, it goes down. Second of my weekend. And also, this was announced. Check out the website. Man, we jamming. BoxingEgo.com. David Lemieux, Curtis Stevens. They have a lot to talk about. And I said the caption, I feel like someone must sleep in this matchup, LOL. And then I tagged him. So... Let me talk about this from Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He's obviously fighting May 6th. It's a big fight for boxing, big money fight. He wrote it in Spanish, but I'll read the translation. And my question to you guys is, hmm, is Canelo trying to starve opponents with A-side advantages thoughts? I posted this 12 minutes ago, 115 likes. So the translation to what Chavez Jr. said is this. The fight was made because I wanted to. They will keep 80% of the bag. They wanted to do the same as Golovkin, not to accept. But I gave in everything. Weight, clauses, thirst, accept this fight for pride, not for money. And that's from Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in a recent interview. So according to Chavez Jr., Team Canelo, I was, I wanted all money fast. They wanted everything. And he's saying the only reason this fight is happening is because he he came and gave in to every single A-side demand from Team Canelo. He says, wait. And and you know what? I got to say, I believe him. The reason I believe him is simple. Because we've seen Canelo, you know I me mean? He fought smaller guys and Josecito Lopez. He brought him up to 147. There's no consolation. And the only person, like, he was, he fought at a catchweight that maybe, um, was harder for him to make was against Mayweather, and that's because you can't A-side the A-side. You can't A-side Mayweather, especially when Canelo's only 23. But everyone else, he made him fight, like Lada, fight Angulo. He brought Amir Khan up. So, I mean, it sounds right. They're offering a flat rate to Golovkin. So, he, Chavez is, is, is breaking it down. And I said this in a previous video before I even knew about this quote. And... I gotta give respect. A lot of people are like, oh, Chavez, he's a disappointment and all this stuff. But I respect the man because through it all, he he does have something to lose here in terms of like, this is his father's reputation and the, the family name and stuff like that. So it's not really a fight that you would want to lose. This is like a Amir Khan, Kell Brook type of fight where how's a loser go back home? You know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna have to go back and like, oh, hey, Canelo beat you. You know what I mean? So it's not the type of it's a it's a fight for bragging rights, not necessarily the most meaningful for the division. It doesn't mean like the winner of this fight can beat Golovkin or beat everybody at middleweight or whatever weight this is, but or super middle. This is technically halfway to super middleweight, but it doesn't mean that. But it's it's a big fight 
casuals. Oscar said something, and I agree with him. Is um, this is the type of fight that can draw casual fans in? Like, if you're not a diehard boxing fan, based on their style and the way it'll, it'll probably be promoted, people will probably tune in. And it's a good fight for people to tune in. I, I, I imagine. Obviously, the fight hasn't happened, but I respect Chavez Jr. for simply having the name. He's rich. You guys don't get it twisted. You can say whatever you want. The man is rich. He probably doesn't need money like me or you might need money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a car note. I got insurance I have to pay for, a phone bill, etc. He's probably well off. You know what I mean? He's probably seen money since he was a kid because his dad was a legend, right? His dad is a legend. So, through it all, he doesn't have to take this fight. He didn't have to give in to Canelo because I told you guys, there's other people that Chavez Jr. could A-side, like the Brian Veras of the world. He's clearly... The A side over really most other people. Like, I don't know for a fact, but like at the time, a couple years ago, when he was linked to fight Andre Ward, that's why Ward probably wanted to fight because it was a it was a big fight. And maybe Chavez Jr. at that time might have been the A side. I don't know. But my point being is he could clearly do the A side thing and make people jump through hurdles and stuff but he's just taking the scrap he's saying he's fighting for pride and his actions are kind of in line with that i mean he doesn't really it's not like he's seen a record i mean he's getting good money like six million guarantee that's not bad but again if you're already rich that's not gonna be inconceivable amount that you can make in a couple of fights you know what i'm saying he could clearly make probably make that in a couple of fights with his name and, and stuff like that, especially if they chose to like milk it and send him to, to Mexico and, and fight certain people in certain stadiums where he could sell out. So I respect Chavez Jr. for taking the fight, not really making any excuses that I've seen for this, and he's just taking it. And the reason I believe what he's saying is because we've seen Canelo flexes. I think Canelo, he's young, he's humble, but he's he's been the b-side on two occasions and that was to miguel Cotto, and i even picked canelo to win but he was the b-side that's why it was called Cotto canelo and stuff like that Cotto was the champion Cotto had done more in the sport and then also to mayweather so i think canelo's just dying to be the a-side over people so he's like amir khan no rehydration clause you come up to my way you do everything my way because he had to do that but this A-side stuff is, is getting crazy, you know what I mean? People who said they hated and ostracized Floyd Mayweather for this this behavior that they kind of embellished. And, like, you got to look at it. You could say Floyd, start, let's say Floyd started this. But why are you following somebody that you clearly have spoken out against and said you don't like? You know what I'm saying? Why would you, why would you follow suit? Why don't you be your own man? If you think Floyd created this and the other thing why that's foolish is because at the end of the day Floyd has his own legacy he fought his own fights and and that's what it is you know what I mean so you can't compare what Canelo's done at age 26 you look at it Floyd Mayweather and Canelo have almost the same amount of fights they might even have the same amount of fights now I don't know because Floyd retired and Canelo's been fighting but the difference is quality not quantity they have about the same amount of fights but who the fuck was canelo fighting when he was 15 16 17 18 you know what i mean he didn't start fighting names until he, he really came to the states and started fighting jose miguel Cotto. and even for a while it still wasn't the most in prime names it was carlos baldemir after floyd beat him it was guys like shane mosley after floyd and pacquiao beat him and he had a draw with sergio mora stuff like that so this A-side stuff is, is getting crazy. And according to Chavez Jr., he he's getting 20% of the bag. And Team Canelo, they wanted everything. And the only reason this is going down is because he put pride and ego aside, no pun intended, and he gave in to everything to make this fight because he wanted the fight. So a lot of people, oh, Chavez can't make weight and this, and, and they're, they're downing the stuff. And trust me, Chavez Jr. is not a model citizen in boxing role model. I'm not saying nothing like that. I agree with that. I think he's been lazy. He's done disrespectful things like standing Freddie Roach up. But on my channel, like Floyd said, I call a spade a spade. And if I see something 
and uh, I'm going to speak on it. That's, that's just what it is. And in this particular given situation, I do believe Chavez Jr. And I do think that Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, Team Canelo, whoever you want to pin it on, I think they're doing a lot to preserve and give their fighter the best strategic advantage, which this happened in boxing. Canelo's not the first to have done this, but it gets to a point where it seems a bit excessive. Like you could make the fight at 165. You already know that's milking Chavez Jr. right there, right? And you force the issue and say, no, go down another half pound, 164.5. It's like, it's like kids will do that. Like, I don't have kids, but I've been around kids, like my friends and stuff. But the thing is, kids will do that. They'll test you. They'll, they'll do stuff. Okay, I have a pacifier. You take it. I cry. You give the pacifier back. I am in the store. I want candy. I cry. You buy the candy. You know what I mean? And they'll push the limit. You tell them to go to bed. Hey, go to bed right now. You got school in the morning. It's 945. And then they'll be staying up and in their room giggling and watching TV or something. And then you come in, hey, cut that off. And then they do it again. They're going to keep doing things like that as long as you allow it. As long as you, you push it to test the limits to see what they could get away with. You know what I mean? And to me, that's kind of what Team Canelo is doing. Is like, okay, 165 is probably already something he has to physically be in the right mindset maybe even get a nutritionist definitely eat right to make so now we're going to push it to 164.5 right and i understand canelo's moving up 10 and a half pounds but just really what's what's the point five that's because you clearly want to tax him as much as you can you know what i'm saying it's like a, a referee breaking a fight and then you just hit him real you know what i mean like at right before the ref comes to break it you just punch him in the body because you want to get that last one off because you, you want all your punches to count you know what i'm saying so it's just to me that's kind of similar to what team canelo is doing and chavez jr brings up a very good point about the golovkin fight he said they tried to do me like they did with golovkin offer him a flat rate because they didn't want him to accept and then if he did accept then he's accepting under all of their terms completely and he's like basically surrendering all his power and that's basically what chavez jr is saying he had to do to get the fight is surrender everything weight all their clauses rematch clause this clause um one million dollars per pound over i get the bulk lion's share like i i get it but in boxing traditionally the a side picks maybe glove size or ring size the maybe location things like that but you're not picking that plus judges plus rehydration plus weight plus a million over plus this plus that you know what i'm saying it's not like like even floyd people say oh floyd but floyd floyd when has he ever done that like i could think of like two catch weight fights he, he took almost two years off and fought marquez who was already considered the best lightweight who called him out Right, he fought him at a catch weight, missed weight, and then paid a fine, and then beat Marquez's ass, knocked him down one time, and he fought Canelo at a catch weight. And Canelo's team said they would go down to 150, and he fought him at 152. But Floyd still had to travel up, so it was still a chore for him too. You know what I mean? Just like Canelo's traveling up for Chavez Jr. So I don't know. It just it seems a bit like tedious to. Like all these A side. I mean, Cotto, he was he had he had his share of it too. It's not just Canelo. Cotto, oh, I'll fight Martinez. My name must be first, even though Martinez was a champion. It has to be at 159. You know what I mean? These A side things. It's like people are taking them crazy. Let's get back to scrapping. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's getting like over the top with it. Both fighters are good. Just you know what I mean? Let's see. Glove up and see who, who who's the best. But I mean, again, I salute Chavez Jr. He really sounds like he is fighting off for pride because he didn't get nothing his way. They also told Chavez Jr.'s team, according to Chavez, that he can't have any of the fighters that he represents or in his gym on this card. So it's a completely Golden Boy card or whoever Golden Boy mandates. That's who's on the card. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't getting nothing his way. And I don't... And seeing the other reason why I think the, the A-side stuff is getting egregious is because... Like, let's say the Amir Khan fight or the Chavez fight. Amir Khan is not a non-factor. Like, people knew who Amir Khan... He has some level of popularity, whether you love him or hate him. Same thing with Chavez Jr. You can say, oh, he failed in this fight or this or that. But he's still known. He still has his father's name. So it's like... 
it's not like Liam Smith where you're A-siding. You're A-siding people who are have somewhat of a fan base at least. You know what I'm saying? And you you want to call every single shot like like they're nobody in boxing. That's it's just getting crazy. But salute. I'm glad the fight's happening. I hope I hope Chavez Jr. is training his ass off to make this a good scrap and and, and make this, I guess, what Golden Boy and maybe Team Canelo didn't expect. The best version of Chavez Jr., no games. But I mean, clearly the man signed his contract. He clearly wanted to fight. I don't I don't see how anyone could bash him for that. He he clearly wants to fight because if he did not want the fight, then he probably wouldn't have given in to all this. Like, man, I can't make 164.5. Y'all tripping. But he did it. So salute to that. Let me know what you guys think of all these A-side over-the-top demands in boxing. And what type of fight is this going to be for you guys? Are you going to order the pay-per-view? Drop that in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.